क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट दैट इज हाउ कैन वी प्रिपेयर दैट इज अल्काइल हाइड फ्रॉम अल्की दैट इज हेलोजुनेशन हाउ कैन वी प्रिपेयर अल्काइल हेलाइट दैट इज फ्रॉम अल्की and uh, we have also discussed about what would be the reaction of an alcohol along with that of uh, various reagents so as to obtain an alkyl halide so now we are going to talk about in the new topic that is uh, so as to obtain alkyl halide and that is basically halogen exchange reaction so what is halogen exchange reaction and what are the types behind it let us talk about it so there are basically two types of halogen exchange reaction that we are going to talk about so talking about the first one that is uh, it is finkelstein reaction so what is finkelstein reaction let us talk about that so talking about the first uh, type of the halogen exchange reaction that is finkelstein reaction so what is it let us understand that one that is the reaction in which an alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide is treated with sodium iodide in presence of dry stone so as to obtain that is alkyl iodide is basically known as finkelstein reaction so let me uh, give you a general reaction for this one and let we let us talk about an example of it so so the general reaction can be represented as in this way that is suppose if we are talking about an alkyl halide like that of that is rx so since we are talking about the halogen exchange reaction so that's the reason that uh, this uh, alkyl halide it should not consist of uh, that is the iodo, iodo group in it because therefore that's the reason that this x or this alkyl uh, halide it would be like alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide suppose if this is what i am introducing over here and if i am suppose reacting it with that of like nai or that is sodium iodide and that too in presence of that is dry acetone i have mentioned over here so a kind of halogen exchange would takes place in such a manner that uh, we could say that is uh, this x that could be cl or that could be br is will be now be replaced by the iodo group that has been present uh, in the sodium iodide so therefore there will be a substitution reaction or there would we could say there will be an exchange of the halogen in such a way that uh, the product that we could obtain over here is basically alkyl halide along with that of this na would be moved away along with that of this x so as to form nax so this is it this is how we can obtain an alkyl iodide by just exchanging the halogen from an alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide so this is the alkyl had uh, alkyl iodide that we have obtained over here and now let me introduce an a small example behind this one so suppose if i am uh, introducing that is uh, ch3 br suppose along with that of nai and this kind of reaction is basically known as finkelstein reaction and uh, that also in presence of that is dry acetone that i am using over here so therefore this na along with this br that would be removed in the form of nabr and the thing that is obtained over here that is uh, this methyl group along with this i or this iodo group or i could call it as ch3i which is known as iodo methane so this is what we have got over here and we can also try this uh, with that of uh, methyl chloride along with that of nai in presence of dry acetone so as to form that is methyl chloride and uh, the byproduct will be nacl so this is what we have obtained over here and this is the finkelstein reaction and now let us talk about the next part of uh, the halogen exchange reaction that is swartz reaction so what is that let us talk about it so now let us understand what is swartz reaction so let us understand the definition that is the reaction in which an alkyl chloride or alkyl bromide is treated with mercurous fluoride or we could call it as uh, the other reagent like uh, silver fluoride so as to obtain alkyl fluoride is basically known as swartz reaction so let me introduce an example over here or we say general reaction so that we could understand it better that is suppose if uh, i am using that is alkyl chloride suppose 
So what's CH3? CH. And if I'm using that is uh, uh, silver fluoride, that is EGF. So the thing that we could obtain over here is basically this uh, AG will remove this CL or they will uh, be removed in the form of AGCL over here. And uh, the thing that we, would, we could obtain is methyl along with that of the fluorine atom. So as to obtain that is CH3F or basically known as fluoromethane. So this is what we have obtained uh, by by using that is AGF. But you could use uh, different uh, other reagents also so as to obtain uh, an alkyl fluoride. So let me introduce the another one that is uh, suppose if uh, C2H5 suppose if I am using Br suppose you could also use another uh, alkyl iodide also but uh, the thing is uh, again an alkyl fluoride would be obtained so therefore C2H5Br along with that of suppose if I am using that is AGF and if I am heating it suppose so therefore the thing that would obtain is C2H5 F along with that of that is AGBR. So let me introduce uh, another reaction also. That is what will happen if uh, that is if we talk about that is methyl chloride is now treated with that is mercurous fluoride that is Hg2F2. So in this case we have to balance the reaction and the balance of the reaction would be in such a way that uh, we could obtain uh, that is two moles of that is CH3F along with that of uh, we could obtain that is since uh, Hg since it is an halogen exchange reaction and here we have used Hg2F2 so that is the reason that the byproduct that we could obtain is basically Hg2Cl2 mercurous chloride as a byproduct but the main thing is what we needed is we needed an alkyl fluoride and this is what we have obtained over here so I hope you have got this uh, topic very clearly and you have also got to know that how can we obtain alkyl halide by using uh, a halogen exchange reaction. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you will share this video with the friends. So earlier, don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.